In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to beat the shaded coverage down man-to-man -man meta that you're starting to see pop up, especially in Weekend League, how to deal with it without a playmaker, and what you can do to really uh, work the ball up and down the field against man-to-man -man press. What's up guys, my name's Cody, and I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Now, if it's your first time visiting my channel, my channel centers around how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And one of the ways that we do that is through daily videos just like this one that are designed to give you different tips, different strategies for different situations, and help you kind of learn the game um, a little bit better. So, if you're interested in continuing to get better at this game, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click that subscribe button button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen it's completely free to subscribe and um, it helps the channel out but it also think it helps you out because it lets you know whenever we release a new video now if this is your first time visiting the channel I actually am talking today specifically about uh, one of the plays that you can be found in my bunch tight end offensive ebook so we're gonna use this as kind of a preview of the ebook and that way if you want to buy the ebook it's just 15 bucks it's just 15 bucks to buy it it helps support me as a creator it helps me continue to do what I'm doing for you guys so I would love um, to get you uh, get you that ebook and again a lot of people have said that this is the best offense they've ran all season long it has helped them a ton so let's just dive right in here and I want to specifically focus in on um, one in particular play from the bunch tight end that is going to help you beat man-to-man -man coverage and that is going to be the uh, tight end corner which is in our audibles now really quickly before we got too far into this I did want to also point out that if you have any questions about the video my cell phone number is in the top left hand corner of your screen so just feel free to shoot me a text if you have anything Madden related okay guys so let's talk a little bit about man coverage so first and foremost you're gonna see this right here almost every time if you see someone go to three three five wide they are going to do that adjustment that I just did. They're going to take this linebacker on the left side, they're going to man him up on the circle receiver, and then they're going to use her in the middle of the field. The problem that that creates for your offense, if you take a look at this, is now that, now that circle receiver is going to get pressed, and the press is the problem. The press man coverage is as good as it has ever been in this year's game. And so what I want to do today is share with you how to deal with that from this specific offense um, as well as some other concepts that you can apply the first thing that I like to do is use motion to at least get one receiver off of the press so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and, and again we're gonna kind of base out of curl flat corner or I'm sorry tight end corner but this can apply to other uh, other other plays so the first route that I like to use to beat man-to-man -man coverage is an option route to the running back. I think that is super, super underrated. Not very many people run it, but it works like a charm. The next thing is to smart route route. So you can smart route this post route to Tavon Austin. And as you can see, it's going to basically turn it into a slant um, as opposed to being a post route. Then from there, we're going to take the tight end and we're going to put him on a streak. And the last thing that I like to do is whenever you motion, um, you notice here that Jair Alexander is matched up against Devontae Adams. Now, whenever I motion in particular players, it does change the man assignments from where people go. So in this example, I'm going to motion Valdez Scantling to the left, and I'm going to put him on either a slant or a drag, depending on whatever I want to do. What you'll see is this motion, if you take a look at the defense, now, now changes everything. Right now it changes everything for the defense. And as you can see, Jair Alexander is no longer matched up on Devontae Adams. So now I have an advantage and I can throw this corner out all day long. That's a little simple tactic that really works well for a lot of the way people like to run man-to-man -man coverage, especially if they're running man-to-man -man coverage in regs. If they're running man-to-man -man coverage in regs on you, this is a great little tip right here. Um, I should have done this against... Um, I should have done this in my Madden Classic game against Goes. Um, this would have helped me out a ton. This little motion right here, you see they're going to move. And then right there, just like clockwork, you're able then to work three or four different man beaters that are all going to beat man-to-man -man at different points within, um, within the route. Now this route to uh, Tavon Austin, even though he's, it's definitely better if it doesn't get pressed. One of the beauties of the bunch tight end is normally Tavon Austin doesn't get pressed. 
except against 335 wide. 335 wide is the one formation that can press him. Most formations won't be able to press him, so that's something that you have to remember too. But if you take a look here, he's going to get that inside leverage and he's going to run. And normally you can actually fit this in. Um, right there, Adrian Amos actually was able to, to, to cover me relatively well. Now I want to show you, let me just go to nickel normal just so that I can give you an example of what I'm talking about. Um, at this point right here, I'm just going to run stock man coverage. But if you watch what happens to Tavon Austin on this play, we're going to use that same motion tactic. The slot corner should move. He moves like a charm. And then voila, you see that you get this post unbumped and it's open for an absolute laser against the man-to-man -man coverage. So those are some little things that you can do um, to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage. It's just simply using motion to create mismatches, right? That's all you got to do. But this route to this route to Devontae Adams, as long as he has an ability, so like as long as he has route tech, that route will get open pretty much at will against man coverage. So you'll see here, he's going to go out on the cut. He almost always beats man to man and voila, boom, you've got a major dot against the man coverage. Now, the counter, the counter to this, as far as what the defense is going to do, and almost guarantee you this is going to happen, is they're going to start doing something like putting their corners in purple zones because they don't want their corners to get burned, right? They don't want their corners to be, you know, they don't want their corners um, to get burned to the outside. So what are they going to do? They're going to put them in purple zones. Well, this is where um, you can use some some different tools and tactics. So one of the things that you can do is you can use different types of routes. So like the tight end corner route, I could motion Tavon Austin here to the right side. And if I motion to the right side, what you'll see is when they shade coverage down, sometimes, and not always, he didn't get over there. Sometimes he will get over. The other thing is that running back on that blue route is actually really good. But another thing that I wanted to hit on, so let's say they're running a lot of shaded coverage down, man-to-man -man coverage. So we're going to shade coverage down and run man coverage, and then we're going to put the purples out there, right? This is like the this is a tough defense to beat. Well, the cool part is that you can actually do some stuff to be able to handle this. So one of the things that you can do is once again using that curl flat corner technique. The difference is again we're going to motion out a scantling so that we can get a mismatch on to Devonte Adams. You see here we motion. Now we've got a mismatch, and now he's going to beat the press, and it's a one-play touchdown over the top against a coverage like that. As you can see, Devonte Adams is going to be able to beat the jam if he has an advantage over the if he if if he doesn't have to go up against Jair Alexander. This is a very easy tactic um, that you can use. And then another thing that you can do, especially against something like that where they're shading their coverage and they're putting their purple zones. This is where you can really get the user um, lost. So what you can do is you can put that put table on Austin on a slant. And then what I would recommend is I would recommend Valdez Scantling on a streak. And then from there, I would even take the tight end and probably put him on a delay drag. And then maybe the running back goes on a, you know, just a simple swing route. I would probably put him on a block and release route. But the reason why I would do this is... It's because now you give yourself a chance to burn the press over the top on the left side. The other thing you'll see is Devontae Adams will literally just roast man coverage again because of that motion. And now you've got him beat over that side. The beauty of this is you have him beat on both sides. So the user basically has to choose who do I want to go guard. Do I, do I want to go guard Devontae Adams? Or do I want to go guard the slant? Now the way most people guard Devontae Adams is they're going to guard him for a second and then they're going to come back down to the slant. Problem is if they do that, that's a touchdown. But as you can see here, the slant's no bad read either because he doesn't because of the fact of, of where he's at on the alignment. So, anyways, that is how you beat man to man coverage. One of the ways um, that you can beat it. Obviously, if you're watching this video and you don't know about this play right here, you can run PAL cross and then just release the tight end fade. Um, I obviously did not audible to man to man coverage there, but I'll show you how to do that. But again, this is my bunch tight end ebook that I'm showing you right here. This is just one little piece of it. Um, obviously, there's a full scheme in the ebook. We go through audibles, personnel, everything that you need to know to be successful offensively uh, with that ebook. But what I did want to did want to hit on is, you know, again, this is the best offense of the game. The reason why it's because you can do so much 
from motion. You can you have no idea how much you can really make a big difference in your offense just by using simple motion snaps. And also, this formation comes with all of the routes that you need to be successful. In fact, you don't even need a hot route master to be successful with this. You're going to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage just rolling straight up with PA cross, curl flat corner, some of those plays. So um, if you have not gotten the ebook yet, it's just 15 bucks. One of the things I did want to tell you before uh, we took off is maybe you're still sitting on the fence. Um, you know, you can get the, the the preview or the sample to the ebook for free. Um, all you got to do to get that is just text me. And the preview is a one-hour video that shares some of the core foundational principles um, that will apply into the ebook. So, if you want to get that, that is a one-hour free preview video, and it's available through my text messages. So, the way that you get that is all you have to do is text me. So, pull out your phone and say, "Hey, Cody, I just want to get that free bunch tight end sample." And send that text message to my cell phone number, which is 812-216-3644. I want to thank you for your time today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have already picked up the Bunch Tight End Offensive eBook, please let me know what you thought of the eBook, how it's been working for you, and what we can do to make it better going forward. Thanks for your time, and we'll see you guys uh, later tonight on stream.